Well, how's, how's your progress going? Are you sort of trying to expedite it, but you're still a few weeks away with the, with the injury? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, progressing well. The knee's, knee's coming along well. I started running um, about 10 days ago and had the brace taken off. So, yeah, feeling feeling good. Um, yeah, I'm still, you know, three or four weeks away from being able to play. I haven't, I haven't even changed direction yet. So, um, yeah, getting better. How big was that win on the weekend for the guys? Yeah, it was good. You know, the way we played, we, uh, we looked more like a, a Collingwood team that we've seen in the past couple of years. Um, you know, our pressure on the ball was a lot better and you know, obviously to, to be able to kick nearly 100 points was, was pleasing. Um, there was patches of the game where you know, North took it up to us. Um, and I heard Mesh during the week, you know, they're, you know, they're obviously winless so far, but they've, they've had some really good patches of, uh, in games throughout the season and um, they certainly were no walkover and we knew that. So to get the job done was pleasing. Was it a lift that the, the group needed, do you think, to, to get a result? Yeah, well, it was... Um, yeah, we didn't. We didn't want to be one and seven. We're um, we're we're, we're happy. We got the got the job done. Yeah. Um, you were sort of a different interpretation of that Jordan Goey and what you'd sort of said about him. Yeah. Um, what, what did happen? Just to set the record straight on. Yeah. No, there was um, obviously quite a bit of media attention around Jordy last week, and he seems to be the scapegoat when Colin aren't going well. Um, yeah. Some of the, some of the stuff that was reported was was inaccurate. Um, my conversation that was leaked um, from inside our change rooms. Um, I'm not sure how that happens, but uh, the, yeah, the conversation was was inaccurate. You know, Jordan, Jordan and I have got a great relationship. We've been working together for a number of years now, and um, uh, in ten and trying to get each other uh, better to play more consistently, and uh, that's what we did throughout the week. Uh, the conversation was based around one of support um, to offer him any any help he needed whilst, whilst I was in rehab, to watch extra vision, to do extra sessions, um, just to be a, a sounding board for him. You know, he's coming off a a concussion over in over in Perth, um, and played a quite a game, and you know, he was he was targeted by the media. So um, yeah, I'm glad he came out and, and played the way he did. Um, his performance was really strong, and he had a great week on the track last week. So he looked to emulate this, that this week. Well, I'm not sure if it actually does get leaked, Steve. I, I think sometimes there's whispers that you know, China's whispers whispers turn into more than what they actually are. Um, yeah, for, for Jordan, Jordan and myself, and that was my biggest concern was, was Jordan, um, him not getting too caught up in what was being said. He knew that, um, it, obviously he knew what, it, what had happened um, and he was really comfortable with how the club handled it. Um, he had the full support of the playing group, the coaching staff and the administration of the football club. Um, Jordan to go, he wasn't the reason we lost the game against the Gold Coast, although it sounded like that last, last week. So it was, um, yeah, it was just pleasing to see him go out and perform the way he did, Steve. Well, getting, getting the ball in his area is probably the, the first place to start. Um, you know, he was he was instrumental in the first half against North on the weekend. Anytime the ball was within 15 metres of him, he looked like he was going to kick a goal. So, um, yeah, he's the sort of player that once his tail's up, he's really hard to stop. Um, and I think for him, it's just work rate, just continuing to tip in, get himself around the ball as much as he possibly can, whether that's forward or in the midfield. Um, you know, the, the sort of talent levels that guy's got, anytime that he's near the footy, he's going to be really dangerous. How are the uh, concussed boys or non-concussed boys as it is? Uh, how are they today? Yeah, they uh, they both seem quite sprightly in the club today. Obviously, there's a bit to work through. Um, unsure how that's going to play out. Um, there's conversations that have to happen between the AFL and the footy club, and they're still working through those. Have they said they're keen to play? Um, I actually haven't asked them that explicitly. From from what I heard, conversations roughly seems pretty keen to play. Um, I'm not too sure on Nath. Yeah, it's been a it's been a really tough period for him. Um, you know, at times he's he's had to face the brunt of you know what has not necessarily been his doing. So um, yeah, he'll he'll get the support of the football club. I know he's got a, a baby on the way, um, so he'll have a he's have his hands full in a couple of months. But um, yeah, he's got a couple more months uh, at the football club, and you know we'll make sure that we, we send him off in the right way. Bucks keeps getting asked about. Oh yeah, we're certainly we're certainly younger than we have been in the past. Um, our youth is really exciting for us. You know, we've seen four or five debutants this year. I actually can't keep up now, but um, you know, those guys are you know, they're, they're earning their spots in the AFL team. Um, our VFL form's been really, really strong, and you know that that certainly correlates with 
pressure coming from the bottom helps us win games of footy at, at the senior level. So um, our depth, you know, it has been tested. We've lost some some players that are you know walking starters for our, our first 22, and um, we've seen some guys step up. And um, I think it was mentioned last week that our, our second tier of players, you know, below the the side bottoms, the Pendlebury's, the Jeremy Howes. Darcy Moores, these guys that are you know really top elite performers. Our next tier of players, are the ones we're, we're going to get our improvement from, and um, they, there were some guys who found some form on the weekend. Um, you know, Braden Maynard had a great game. John Noble looked really solid down back. Um, obviously, Geordie, his performance was great. So, yeah, it takes it takes 22 contributors every week, um, and we're, we're we're relying on on that second tier of players to continue to push push our uh, our standards up on game day. I thought that Jeremy Howe would play last week, but um, mm. I don't know if he's got that setback. But he, feel, he feels like he's playing well and play this week. Yeah, he's obviously got to get through training this week. Um, yeah, there's still a bit of work to do. There's it's a bit of unknown about what's actually causing him his pain in his hamstring. It's not a traditional hamstring injury, so um, I know that there there's there's been some dialogue around how his week's going to look this week and whether or not he's going to be test to play. So um, yeah, keep your ears out for that one. Yeah. 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 Incredibly inspiring. Um, I actually read Neil's Neil's autobiography last year after being in the hub, um, and it put that experience into perspective. And um, yeah, you can't help but draw inspiration from him, his family, his wife Jan, and, and the kids. Um, he's done such an incredible job, and you know, the the fact the fact of the matter is. Um, he, he does it not for himself, but for the, the benefit of other people. Um, and we're really pr proud as a football club to be able to support him to do that. Um, really proud to be aligned with Coles um, and, and seeing what they're doing. You know, the Beanings have become a, a fashion icon around Melbourne this time of year. Um, and the, the march down Danaher Way is, is something really special. So, um, yeah, the, the Queen's birthday game is one of those games that you sort of pencil in as a player. You really look, really look forward to playing in those those big games, and you know the days are going all right at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's uh, he's he's truly an incredible man.